So here I am on my main site. I'm not on the network admin, I'm in the main site for my setup. So inside the main site, you'll see, find somewhere in your navigation, it'll say edit content. This is assuming that you've already installed and activated all the necessary plugins being Content Editor Pro and then the Pro add-on. Um, so inside here, the first thing we wanna do is go to categories and add a category. Now I'm, I'm gonna assume that you don't, I mean, we're starting from scratch and you're not sure how to use it at all. Uh, Maybe you've probably figured some of this out, maybe you haven't, so let's just pretend you haven't. Uh, inside categories, what I've done is I've created a category for each of my templates. So these are what I name my templates. And uh, Ubend is the one that I've opened up for us to show within this demo. But these are all my templates. So once I get my categories all set up, then I go to add a new post or add a new layout. So this is what it would look like when you go add a new layout. And you would want to title it um, here, which is going to be based on the template name. In my case, this is how we've decided to set this up. So we titled it by the template name and we selected the template category uh, as well. And then from there, you just click on add row and you start creating your layout just like it says. So let's go ahead and go to the next screen without doing anything on this one. So on this one, the reason I came here is because I want to edit some content. I want to edit one of these pages or one of these templates. Um, so in this case, we're going to edit the PDR U bend. So when I click edit that, it brings me to this page. Now this, just keep in mind, this is after you've added a new layout and you've been to this page, you filled it out, got everything laid out the way you want. It's going to be put on a page like this, on this page here. So, um, so, so here we are. We're going to go to the one that says PDR U bend. I come over here. Oh, whew, scared me for a second there. All right, so here we are on PDR Ubin, and you'll see that we have um, the homepage block created, and inside of that, we've created a title, We Love Your, and we're going to scroll down. We have some of this content here. Now, what I want you to notice above each of these uh, sections, so here we have Title 1 and Title 2. So we have Title here, Title 1, and Title 2, and I'll show you my template in just a second and how this makes sense. But above each of the elements that you're going to add, I want to add, you're going to grab this short content um, page or in this in this case over here, short content page. So each one of them has its own short URL. So wherever you want this content, any of these specific content items or elements onto your homepage or website, I should say, any page, you're going to want to copy that. And this is what you paste in there using um, using our add on plugin. Now, some of these elements can be put into just similar, like uh, simple text text uh, items. But in some cases, because there's multiple things, like like a, in a testimonial, you'll have a um, you'll have an image, you'll have the testimony description, you'll have the title of the person, the person's name, and the company name possibly. And so all of those things will require each individual slots. And that's what the add-on is for, because it, it put it, puts, it creates those slots for you or those different elements for you here on the back end so that you can create it. Because otherwise, without the add-on, you would have only one short code and it can't, with one short code, it can't put all of those other elements or features into a specific um, element. I keep using the word element or widget, I guess. All right, so here we are. So we, we've had, we love you. So if I go to our homepage over here, it says, we love your car as much as you do. And again, let's go back to here. It says, we love yours. So we have this um, short code here. Add it to the homepage here. And then we have another one. Add it here. So short title one and then short title two. And if you go back to, to this, you'll see it's, it's going to be short title zero because we have uh, my, for some reason, it doesn't want me to scroll. Okay, there we go. So we have short title one and short title two. So that's how it gets displayed. And um, hopefully, you know, if my system wasn't so slow, I'd, I'd actually demonstrate exactly how to do an item. But this is kind of, this is basically how it works. So then we go back to my homepage and you'll see the way the homepage is laid out. It's a bunch of short codes all over the page because those are being brought in by the page editor over here. So all these items that we, as we're selecting an icon, we put it here. So let's say I want to select the icon. I can search for it and it'll bring it up. If I want to add an image, I can add it here, and that image will be placed as this short code. And that way, when a customer comes on, they can 
edit this image instead of going to the front end and trying to edit it, they just edit it here. And I'm gonna show you what their back end looks like. It's not nearly um, this complicated from the front end of their or their back end, their admin. Um, and so once you get that laid out, so you have all of the things that you want, all the blocks created on your pages, each page. If you if I scroll down here, and this is gonna keep going for that home page. Eventually you're gonna actually I'm gonna scroll up. I'm going to minimize this home page block. And you should see that we'll have multiple pages. So now we have a services block. So I'll just close all of these out. And this is probably why my page is loading slow. All right, so we have seven pages on our site. And if you come to the site itself, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. And this is how they're all developed. So in this page, we're not gonna add a page. In fact, almost should label those pages. Um, so if I open this one, it says services. That's right, when they're closed, it says, it says add page, which is dumb, but it's just technology. But if you open it, it says services. And then inside the services, it'll have the title, the image, and then the description, and just however we built it out to make it work for our template. Um, so that's how you would set up each of the pages. So your template layout would be called, we would be titled here, you would assign it to your category here, and you would just lay out your pages uh, individually with individual blocks like that. All right, let's see here. So once you got those laid out and, and designed, then you come here and you wanna wanna add uh, assign layouts to the various templates. And this is the step where you select the site. So whatever site you have set up on your system. So this will be your template site. You wanna select that first, then you wanna select the layout category. So in this case, it's Ubin. And you're gonna enable short codes, yes, or say no. And, and the same with um, enable rows editing. And this is basically for the front end, for your end users to have access to it. So we would actually put no. When we get this done, we're gonna say no. We don't want them to, actually we, we do if they need to edit in. So it's really up to you how you wanna strategize it. Basically, this is given access to your users to add more short codes, add more blocks and so forth and, and enable row editing. So, um, so let's go to, this is what, actually I don't get to show you what it looks like as the front, this is the front end. Um, this is what, I, there's the page I was looking for. This is for a customer and this is being, I'm now on the PDR bin. I'm inside of edit content and inside here. So um, you can see we have the information they can just change. And they, we, since we selected that they can edit, we have it here where you can add and not. But in some cases you may not wanna give them that access. You wanna just have them change what is only on that page. And so you would say no in the layouts, assign layouts, we would say no here and no there. Um, so coming back to this, and then load latest layout. So what this means is that if you have uh, made updates or changes to your your actual templates inside of here, and you say, oh, I wanna change that image, maybe um, you think that's there's gonna be a better image for all your customers instead of this one for whatever reason, you can edit it here and then inside the templates themselves, you can say load late, latest layout and it'll automatically get updated here for you. So that's another feature that we've added. And then we can turn that off um, because it will overwrite any changes, custom changes you've done here as well. Um, so let's see here, that would be it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Hopefully I've answered all your questions now and concerns, but um, like I said, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks, take care.